Okay, so we have our LibreOffice base. Okay, uh, open here. Everything is empty. So now I want to open the CSV file. All right, so I will look for the CSV file. And it is this one, just to make sure it's a CSV file. Okay, all right, it's a comma separated value. Okay, uh, the reason why you I see a uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet uh, icon here and it's called Excel, Microsoft Excel is because previously I opened it using the Microsoft Excel and now it is uh, referring it to Microsoft Excel right, to open it, but it is a CSV file. All right, so I'm going to click open. Okay, All right. and when I click open, okay, uh, I will see that this one must be a comma. Okay, so this one is actually a comma. And how do I import it? Okay, because the first row, sorry, the first row is actually the uh, few name. Okay, so do I want to take the first row or do I want to take the row after that? All right, so let's say I click OK. Right. I have this so I can take, you see, all this here. Okay, this one is a tip. I don't see this. And it is opening this in LibreOffice Cal, which is basically like the Excel spreadsheet, but I don't want it here. But I want it in the database. So let me scroll down first to the end. Okay, here's the end. And I will select everything. Okay, I will select everything. Copy. All right. So now after I copy, I'll minimize this. Go to any place inside the table. So now it's a form. I don't want form. I want table. Any place inside the table over here. Right click. Paste. So it will create a table. All right. So, well, uh, depending on what is the name of the table. All right. Let's see what's the name of the table. Did it say anything about the name? Mm, no. Okay, so maybe we can use the same name here. SP02 Yatch. All right, so SP02 Yatch. All right, use first line as column name, yes. So definition as well as data, yes. So next, existing column. All right, I'll take everything. Okay, so all the column, all right? Uh, type formatting. Okay, so of course, uh, this one is text, text, text. Uh, length is number. So, okay, numeric number. All right, then of course, uh, you will format it to one decimal place because it's a one decimal place. Builder ID is tax, price is currency. Okay, let me have a quick check. Uh, digit binary number. All right. Okay, there isn't a currency. Okay, but I can use decimal value. Sorry. Okay. Uh, two decimal. All right. Or I can use numeric with two decimal. Okay. Numeric with two decimal. All right. Uh, year. Okay. Is a uh, number. Okay. Number. Sleep is uh, also a number. And crew is also a number. All right, 
and there's no more next so i just do a create uh, a unique key all right which is the primary key you can only enter data that you want when one of these two structure condition has been met should a primary key be created now well it can be a yes or it can be a no all right so right now i will just say no because i want to import all the data i will create it later and i have the sp yach all right and just to check uh okay just now i should have count i have to i should have seen what is the last uh, record and first record okay but okay things for well, do a check to make sure everything appears to be okay all right so we are done okay so we managed to import uh this in